ever bought duplicates of the same stamp or die or passed up on a bargain because you don't remember if you already have that one? Well, I know I have. Hi, this is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Last year, I discovered a really cool solution, Windows OneNote. Now, I've heard that Evernote will work as well, and I'll be trying that out later to share in a future video, but I currently am using Windows OneNote. In Windows OneNote, you can create a digital notebook that you can store notes, pictures, whatever. The cool part is that you can access it from any device. So, I tend to check my notebook on my phone when I'm in my goals or before I decide to buy that online stamp set. Did I mention that this app is free? You just go to OneNote.com to download it or check your Windows 10 PC. You probably already have it. It also works on your Mac and is available at the Mac App Store. I have a PC, so I haven't tried that version. You'll also want to get OneNote Clipper, so go ahead and download that one too. You want to open the OneNote app and create a new notebook. You'll also want to make sure to save it to your OneDrive. OneDrive is a cloud-based storage that allows you to access the notebook from any of your devices. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm naming this first one Test, since I already have a current inventory. Um, next, we're going to add a section. Now this is just like a paper notebook or planner. The sections help you organize your notes. So this section we're going to call Stamps. Now comes the fun part. I have this real cool new Lawn Pond How You Bean Conversation Heart Add-on stamp set. I want to put it in my inventory so I know that I've got it. Now all I have to do is do a search for that stamp set online. installed on my browser. Once I find the web page with the stamp set image that I want, I just clip it. Now let's go back to the notebook. does do this automatically and pretty quickly, but you can always speed things along. Now in the stamp section, you'll see that there is a new page there, so let's take a look. And there is the page that we clipped from the internet. You can clip the whole page, an article, or just crop the portion of the web page into your notebook. It's all up to you as to what information you want to save. Now, one of the really cool features that makes this work so well for me search function. It doesn't just search the note title, which you can change and update to whatever you want. It will also search for all of the words that are in the note. So let's say I do a search for the word Courtney. Um, since it's in the clip that I used, it'll find anything in the entire notebook with that word. So let's say you want to find all of the stamp sets that have a coordinate you got. It'll bring you up a list. This is the only stamp set we have in there, so it does bring up that one. Now, there are a lot of other cool features in the full version and the app version of this program, and I absolutely love for organizing my crappy thoughts. If you like, I'll be happy to share some of these. Um, just let me know, and I'll put together a future video. So thank you so much for dropping by, and have a great and crafty new year.